Have you heard chips are the new oil? Russia's war against Ukraine has starved world economies of much needed oil, but everyone is fast getting over its importance. But if semiconductors were to get scarce, the high and mighty countries will take a dramatic hit, even the United States, because Asia is the biggest player in chip manufacturing in the world. You deal with billions of chips daily, from the beep of your microwave to your Tesla car that earns you stares, even though you may never see these minute powerhouses in your lifetime. This level of global dependence on chips has now increased tensions between the US and China. Taiwan, located 100 miles off the coast of China, produces a vast majority of modern advanced chips. And even though the island boasts a democratic government and 20 million people, China feels Taiwan is a breakaway region and must return to the full. Recent military exercises by China around its neighbor has sparked hostilities. Meanwhile, the US, who doesn't recognize Taiwan's independence, has vowed to defend Taiwan Strait under Biden's own words. The Taiwan Strait is a 180 kilometer wide area in the South China Sea, separating Taiwan and Asia. However, even with Biden stating a US defensive stance, US policy for Taiwan hasn't changed. So it is unknown what the United States response would truly be in the event of a Chinese invasion. Indeed, a crisis in Taiwan will put electronic, mobile, and automobile manufacturing in jeopardy. Any cause for semiconductor trade to grind to a halt will cut the world off from truckloads of vital technology. With Taiwan out, demand will swallow up supply immediately, and the growth of a semiconductor industry elsewhere will take years to consolidate. China plans to target the Taiwan Strait to cripple exporting activities from the island and disrupt technology production at large. Aside from taking back Taiwan, China can assume control over semiconductors, and their politics over masks at the height of COVID is a testament to how it loves to create scarcity. Taiwan stands no chance of victory except through diplomatic agreement, which doesn't seem a fair compromise to their aggressors. And China is second to the US in spending over defense and boasts of navy power, missile tech, and an element of surprise, cyber attacks. War can break out any time across the strait, so the US isn't waiting for the consequences. They are taking proactive steps to assume semiconductor supremacy. America invented the semiconductor, but it focused on design while Asia quickly took on manufacturing. Now, the US only lays claim to 10% of the market, with East Asia controlling a massive 75%. With the Chips and Science Act, America hopes to change the narrative for good. President Joe Biden, with the Creating Helpful Incentives for Producing Semiconductors for America Act, or CHIPS, is pumping $280 billion into domestic semiconductor production to secure the future. $52.7 billion will support US chip manufacturers, while $200 billion goes into science and tech research funding. The future of every sector relies on the advancement of chips, and there's never been a better time to invest. And while chip manufacturers are excited with this development, getting a piece of that sweet pie is like trying to swingle Margot Robbie. Good luck! Any company benefiting from chips must not spend it on production in China and other countries of concern. The only exception is if the business elsewhere protects interests in the US, and then the act allows just production of legacy chips. Companies like Intel and Qualcomm can keep producing core processors for the Chinese market, yet no penny from chips is to be spent on a Chinese facility for America's use. By February 2023, all other fine details of the act will come to light, but even now, experts see reasons for these measures. They'd provide stability and security for the US semiconductor market while it strives to achieve the set goals for chips. These restrictions could bring home US headquartered companies running 56% of their operations outside the country. So what are the aims of the CHIPS Act? Aside from positioning the country atop semiconductor manufacturing, CHIPS is poised to awaken economically disadvantaged areas. The government expects recipients to display impressive investments in communities through small businesses. The US 2% GDP allocation to research and development since the 1960s has now fallen below 1%, so increasing employment and productivity remains a priority. CHIPS will make the future not only all-inclusive, but absolute. Loot. 
scouring through communities neglected by history to unlock opportunities in science and technology. Micron is investing $40 billion in memory chip manufacturing for computers and electronics. The company hopes to create up to 40,000 jobs through construction and manufacturing, and assist in taking the US market share of memory chip production from less than 2% to 10% within the next 10 years. Also, Qualcomm and Global Foundries are partnering with $42 billion to produce chips with an expansion of their upstate New York factory. Qualcomm, a world-leading semiconductor giant, looks to increase its production in the US by 5% in the next five years. With chips, America is burrowing deeper into wireless supply, with a seed of $1.5 billion and hoping to advance technology of the future. It wants to set the pace in artificial intelligence, biotechnology, and computing. Biden's administration highlights these aspects as critical to national security and economic competitiveness in years to come. With expected breakthroughs, these growing industries will spurn new businesses, create new jobs, and uncover higher profit margins. Still, it is best if nothing happens to Taiwan. China waging war on the island will mean they take over the semiconductor factories or they go up in smoke amid conflict. The island's biggest manufacturer, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, or TSMC, provides for Apple, Nvidia, Qualcomm, and thousands of other companies that affect your daily lives. To get a better picture, the US auto industry lost $210 billion to the bottlenecks in supply chain of semiconductors caused by slowdown in production during COVID. Destruction of Taiwan's industries will cut off nearly two-thirds of the world's supply for companies that depend on semiconductors. So the best bet is to start building production elsewhere, which is the main reason for the CHIPS Act. Meanwhile, South Korea, India, and Japan are already making moves of their own. Nevertheless, the US is hopeful that it can help Taiwan withstand a takeover with a $1.1 billion arms deal. If Congress approves Biden's request, Taiwan will get the same caliber of weapons given to Ukraine forces in resisting Russia. Do you think an attack from China on Taiwan is imminent? Let us know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe so you never miss any important global tech stories. If you want to find out more about TSMC, the world's most important technology company in Taiwan, check it out here. This is Business Loop. Have an amazing day.